friends, good afternoon. I heard quite recently that uh, the Breathe Deep gathering in January has had to be cancelled inevitably. Uh, there's very little chance that it will be possible for us to gather together physically in a way that's safe by then. Uh, and I just wanted to send you a message to say um, how disappointing that is for me. I've, I've really enjoyed um, participating in those gatherings since I became the Bishop of Sheffield. I've really enjoyed seeing them go from strength to strength. Uh, and uh, really wish the um, annual gathering wasn't being uh, disrupted in, in this sort of a way. But um, the pandemic has, has been disruptive in, in all aspects of life, hasn't it? And I suspect that's been um, particularly uh, costly for, for those of you who are young people. And I just wanted to um, send you a message to it to encourage you uh, to dig deep uh, and indeed to breathe uh, deep. This is a a difficult time, a challenging time for all of us. This winter is going to be very hard, and all of us need to pay attention to our own our own well-being and our mental health, uh, and to the nurturing of our of our faith. Um, so so much in all of those areas usually depends on being able to gather physically with, with other people, with other uh, Christians, with with friendship groups. Uh, and you young people have seen your education disrupted, uh, your um, social circles disrupted. Uh, and even though you're much better, most of you, than most people of my age are at, at digital uh, communication and digital relationship, it, it's still um, not good to, to be separated from um, other uh, people physically for, for the length of time in which uh, we're having to endure that uh, at the moment. Of course, the, the, the good news is that um, we're not further from God's presence uh, during this pandemic than we are at other times of life. And, and I just wanted to share with you a, a short sentence from, uh, from the Bible, from the letter of James, uh, chapter 4 and verse 8, uh, which says this, Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. It was a verse that was commended to me uh, when I first became a Christian as a teenager, and um, I've held it precious uh, for 40 years ever since. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. It's a promise that uh, I've found um, is true and uh, a promise to which God is faithful. Um, whenever we just set aside a, a little time uh, in our hearts and minds to draw near to God, to call upon him, to pray, um, it's absolutely true that he instantly comes to us by his spirit uh, to be near to us. And um, if there's any one tip I could give you uh, in order for you to invest in your faith during this time, but also um, in your um, in your wholeness, in your in your uh, mental um, and spiritual well-being, it would it would be that just um, daily, even if it's just for a few minutes, uh, draw near to God and enjoy the fact that He will draw near to you. And I look forward very much to the time when it's possible for us to uh, gather physically again. Uh, God willing, that'll be breathe deep in 2022. See you then.